today, I'm going to share with you my thoughts on what the most successful freight brokers are the blank question mark. What is the answer to that question? I was thinking about it over the weekend and I thought it was really interesting because what I was trying to understand is what differentiates top freight brokers, the people who earn the top 5% as a freight broker versus the average freight broker versus the unsuccessful freight broker, right? So I was thinking about this and the answer kind of came to me and I said, the most, the most successful freight brokers are the most educated freight brokers. Now, lean in a little bit because this is not about formal education. This is not about your college degree or where you graduated from college or having 160 genius IQ. That's not what this is about. But there are four areas, okay? It's about being educated in four key areas, right? The first of those, and these are in no discernible order, okay? The first of those is educated in and around your niche. So whatever your niche is, if your niche is produce or steel or heavy equipment or any of the number of niches out there, the top freight brokers are the freight brokers that are the most educated in and around their niche. Very important. You have to be able to speak the lingo. You have to be able to understand and have a dialogue, a meaningful dialogue with people in your niche, whether they be a carrier, whether they be a, a shipper, whether they be someone you're looking to hire, whatever the case may be, you have to be educated about your niche. So this is one of the key areas where education and being educated is a huge differentiator between the top freight brokers and the bottom freight brokers, okay? Everybody else falls somebody or somewhere in between, okay? So that's number one, being educated about your niche. Number two, is being educated about your prospect or customer's company, right? So being educated about the companies that you're prospecting. For example, what type of products do they make? Who is their leadership team? Like who's their CEO? Who's their CFO? What's their backstory? What's their origin story, right? What type of products do they offer? How big are they? How many different locations do they have? So being educated about your prospects and your customers, whichever bucket they fall into, right? The difference between a prospect and a customer, a customer is paying you and a prospect is someone that you're, you're trying to bring on as a customer, okay? So that's the only difference between a prospect and a customer. So number one was being educated about your niche. Number two is being heavily and highly educated about your prospect and customers' companies. Number three is being educated about your prospect and customers' Personally, the context that you're talking to, you need to be educated about them, right? About them individually. You need to understand if you're dealing with a logistics manager or a shipping manager or a traffic manager or a warehouse manager, whoever you're talking to as a prospect, whoever's a decision maker or an influencer in that decision, you need to understand a little bit of background on them. Where did they go to school? Where did they live geographically? How did they get their job? How long have they worked there? You know, what are their hobbies? What are their interests? Learn a little bit about their family, right? So those are some examples of things that you need to educate yourself about your prospects, the actual people that you're talking to. So first we talked about being educated about your niche. Second, we talked about being educated about the prospects and customers company. Third, we talked about being educated about your prospect and customers personally, the individuals that you're talking to, because those are different. Being educated about the company and being educated about the people are two different things, okay? And then number four is being educated with the skills that are necessary to succeed. There are some key skills that freight brokers need in order to thrive. Some of those skills include sales, which is some of what people mentioned in the comments before we started. You know, having strong sales skills. Some people talked about negotiating. Other skills might be marketing or leadership. Those are examples of skills that you need to educate yourself on. Now, you don't need to be an expert at all of them, but you do need to continue to invest in those skills. And so that's a lot of what Freight Broker Bootcamp does. That's a lot of what I've done with my Freight Broker Sales Accelerator program. And so ultimately, that is heavily around skills. So the four are educated around your niche educated around the companies that you're prospecting, educated about 
the individual people that you're prospecting and talking to and educated in regards to the skills that are necessary to succeed as an entrepreneur, freight broker, or freight agent. Okay. So these are the same, this is the same trait that helped me to build four multi-million dollar companies in four different industries. Okay. So the key here is curiosity, being curious, right? So that is a great trait to have, being curious and wanting to learn and willing to learn, right? So that curiosity drives your education. So you have to be curious and in understanding those four, those four key areas that I shared with you, because that's, that's really what fueled my growth, right? I love to learn. I'm a lifelong learner. Now, I was never the smartest guy in the room. I'm still not the smartest guy in the room. I don't have a genius level IQ. I'm relatively intelligent, but I am disciplined about learning. And when I, whenever I approach an industry, one of the most important things that I do is I educate myself about my market. I educate myself about my prospects, about my niche, about the companies I'm going after. And obviously I'm always honing the, you know, my skills as it relates to the skills that are necessary to succeed in any business venture. So those are the four areas. But again, the key, the most successful freight brokers are the most educated brokers. And it doesn't mean you have to be formally educated. It doesn't mean you have to graduate from college. It doesn't mean you have to have a genius level IQ. What it means is you have to self-educate. You have to educate yourself about your niche, about the companies you're going after, about the prospects you're talking to, and the skills necessary to succeed, some of which are sales and marketing and negotiating and leadership. Okay, so I hope that guys help, helps you guys. You know, I'm reflecting back on some of the success that I've had throughout my career. I'm reflecting back on some of the students that I've worked with, on some of the other entrepreneurs that I know in and around logistics or even in other industries because there's a lot of similarities. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and share wherever you're listening to this. Um, share the stream. Totally appreciate it. We greatly appreciate any support there. For those of you that are curious about becoming a freight broker or a freight agent, and you're just getting started, check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com. Trained over 10,000 students. Um, have a 60 day, 100% unconditional money back guarantee. Uh, you can check that out at freightbrokerbootcamp.com. All right. And for those of you that are already gotten started and need some help with sales, with the freight broker sales skill, I'm about to release here, I'm trying to get it released in November, the Freight Broker Sales Accelerator, which is where I take that piece of my brain about the skills necessary to succeed in sales, as well as my Freight Broker Sales System, and I teach that program to you. It's a coaching and mentoring program, including an online course. Uh, it's a five-week program. If you guys want to be involved in that and you want to uh, learn more about that, here's all you got to do. You got to just simply go to... Uh, Go to get on the wait list. Okay. There's a wait list for it. And all you got to do is go to freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash wait list. That's for the freight broker sales accelerator. That's an advanced course, right? So some of you may not be ready for that, but it's okay. Get on the wait list. Uh, it's sold out twice in the last two times that I've done it. It's sold out overnight. It's not a free program. It's a paid program, but it'll be worth 10 times whatever we decide to charge it for it. Okay. Last time it was a thousand bucks. It's probably going to be more this time. Okay. But the reviews that I got from the students that have taken that course, one out of 10, one being horrible, 10 being the best, the average review from over 100 people is a 9.7 out of 10. So that should give you some indication of the quality of the course. It's the best course I've ever put together. So if you're curious about becoming a freight broker and just getting started, check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com. If you're curious and want to learn more, some more advanced sales strategies and skills, then go to freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash wait list so you can get on the wait list for the Freight Broker Sales Accelerator. We have limited number of spots in that. And again, you will ensure that you get notified as soon as we release that course. It doesn't guarantee your spot, but you will get notified as soon as we open enrollment. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much.